Trumpster, uh, got himself into a little hot water, and he called Milwaukee, quote, a horrible city. Now, you've been a presidential uh, strategist and advisor to guys like John McCain and others. Uh, if you're Chris LaSavita, who I know you know, Trump's campaign manager, not the exact thing you want your candidate to be saying a couple of weeks out from the Republican National Convention in the city he called horrible. Yeah, so I think there's. it's not just that Trump called it horrible. I mean, that's bad, right? Like, mm. not good for winning Wisconsin. Because, number one... <laughs> right. People like the Lincoln Project can do ads like we did, which we don't think Milwaukee's horrible. In fact, there's, you know, a lot of proud, hardworking Wisconsinites there. But if Donald Trump thinks Milwaukee is horrible, what does he think about Amory or River Falls or Chippewa Falls? All these other places, right? It says the disdain. But here's the other piece that I think has got to be worrying La Civita maybe even more. They tried to mount a response by getting Van Orton and Style and Tiffany and Fitzgerald (laughs) and all these guys to say, to to have a message while he was talking about X. Except the problem is Derek Van Orton said he was talking about crime. Brian Style said he didn't actually say it. And then he said, no, he was talking about elections. (laughs) Like uh, <laughs> Tiffany said that he was referring to some internal dispute in Milwaukee Z. between the county board <laughs> and the state. Like these guys can't get their story straight. That has to be a bigger issue. And so honestly, I think that's why they pivoted to what they did, which is the um, which is this whole fake doctored video of Biden which Scott Walker was pushing around last night, which infuriated me so bad, and I did feel bad in the morning. I actually tweeted a picture of his bald spot because pushing around stuff like that is about like the people who are pushing around his bald spot, except he actually has a bald spot, and Joe Biden didn't wander off at the G8. So there's that.